Hi, I'm Brian with Park Avenue Gold Exchange. Over the past few years, we've built a solid reputation for providing excellent customer service and paying our clients the highest prices for their gold. But in addition to gold, we also purchase silver and platinum pieces. So what I want to show you today is how we go about testing those items and how the same spectrometer technology that we use for our gold is also very useful in determining the silver and platinum content of any items you may have lying around your house. These are a few pieces. Uh, very typical for what we see uh, clients bringing in. Uh, we have silverware, some coins, some miscellaneous jewelry. Some is marked, some is not. So again, our spect uh, spectrometer technology will tell us exactly what's inside these metals. So I'm going to show you the first thing we do with the items. Let's lay out some of the jewelry here. Uh, we have a very strong magnet. Uh, this is a great test that you can do at home if you have a nice magnet as well. And what we'd be looking for is if the jewelry or the item moves at all when it's placed next to the magnet. So you can clearly see this is pulling and that would mean it doesn't have enough either silver, uh, gold, or platinum for us to purchase. The other two items though, they do not move when placed close to the magnet. So these uh, would go to the next step which would be the actual spectrometer test. I'm going to start with this little pen, stick it in the machine. And we're just going to hit start. And what we're going to see on the screen here is the makeup of this this, ring, uh, this item. So right away we see it's over 30% copper and some nickel. Uh, there is no silver or gold content in this piece. So again, it's nothing that we can purchase, but it's worth uh, bringing them in if you do have an item that you don't know about and let us test it for sure. And this ring was interesting. The only markings inside this ring uh, is says Thailand. So there's no indication on silver, platinum, gold. Uh, the clients didn't know what it was. So when they brought it in, we actually put it in the machine. And when we scanned it, we were able to see that it's over 94% uh, silver. So that was a nice surprise for the clients. Uh, we pay them out based on the silver content. Uh, a few more items that we typically see come through are silver pieces. Now I do want to say what you want to look for here on the silver is the word sterling. It might be on the back of the fork, it could be on the blade of knives, but make sure it says sterling. Uh, if you see the word silver plate, that just means it's plated, so that's not going to be a solid uh, silver piece. Um, but this one does say sterling, so we're going to stick it in the, in the scanner. Let's go ahead and run this. Uh, ideally we'd see 92.5 for sterling. So this is a little higher on that spot we scanned, but that means it is a sterling piece. Um, now the knives, one thing I do want to mention, even though the knife, especially the blade, may be marked sterling, it's good to know that typically the blades are a different metal. That may be a stainless steel. And the handles themselves may be sterling. So in this case, what you have is a sterling wrapped handle. It's wrapped over uh, some sort of material, whether it's a resin. Uh, so basically, you're not going to get the full weight of sterling. It's mainly going to be a thin shell on just the handle itself. And that's mainly on knives and larger uh, serving uh, utensils. But we'll go ahead and scan the uh, handle here. Uh, just to show the, the percentage may come back a little lower than 92%. Just over time it may develop a tarnish so it could be a little bit lower. But we do know this is a full sterling piece. And uh, a couple more items folks bring in quite often are coins. Depending on the year coins were made, the silver content may vary or there may be no silver in it at all. For instance, this quarter, we'll go ahead and scan it. Now this quarter is mainly copper and nickel. So again, no silver there, but if you have some coins, you don't know anything about them, please bring them in. We'll sit down, we'll go through them with you. And uh, this next coin, Nice Liberty, this is a good example of fine silver. So what we'll see here is really high silver content. These coins are great for collectors. So 99.3 on the silver. And uh, that's, that's it. So the beautiful thing about this machine is it does give us the ability to test exactly what types of metals are in those individual pieces. All right, and that's how we test uh, items here at Park Avenue Gold Exchange. So if you have any gold, silver, or platinum pieces around the house, or if you have something that you don't know is gold or silver, but you think it is, uh, give us a call, schedule an appointment, we'll bring you in, we'll go through all the tests we just did here in front of you, and to tell you exactly what you have. Again, give us a call, thanks for watching, and we look forward to hearing from you.